Hello folks, today we will tie a uh, Vulgata Dun and that's the, the adult insect of uh, one of our biggest mayflies in Sweden and in uh, May and, and June we have this uh, in, uh, in the most parts of Sweden yeah and the thing is with these big mayflies they they uh, yeah, attract a really big fly, a <laughs> big fish, I mean, trout and char, grayling, of course, and rainbow trout. So this is a nice pattern of the adult uh, mayfly, and uh, you need this tool. If you don't have like a normal needle, that will also work. But this tool, uh, I don't sell it in the shop, but uh, this is from Jason, I think. I had it for many years. So what you need to do is some way <coughs> get the thread on this needle so you can make a, a detached body uh, of foam which is good to have because then it will have some extra flotation. I use this is 3 millimeter just normal brown foam and I cut kind of a thin strip of this foam like this probably two millimeters and I just soften it a little bit with my fingers in the middle where I'm gonna tie this in and I fold it once like this and I make a little cut because then you will have a better taper and then of course you need to get this here and you do one two three thread wraps and then you want some um, tail fibers for this and I use moose mane this is from um, nature spirit which is totally okay yeah it's very good actually you can also use pheasant tail or something you can decide but uh, normally uh, these moose mane fibers hair they uh, hold up kind of big good I mean and then you place the fibers like this and just do one wrap to secure them and then you need to make this body tapered so you need to I will actually cut this off a little bit like this so you go between make two wraps in between in between And that is about the length I want the body. And then you just make a half hitch over that. Cut that off. And I either use some UV resin <clears throat> or just a little drip of super glue to get it done then you pull this off and then you have a really nice body with those tail fibers and now we will start with the fly when we have done this if you are in, in mode to tie a lot of these, you should do all the bodies at first. You tie up maybe 10, 20 bodies, then you will have those ready so you can just focus on, on building th those flies. For this hook, I use a super dry hook 
from Oryx. You can use a Gamma's hook also, but I want a, <coughs> a nice gap uh, because the fish are kind of taking this mayfly so hard, so they can be very tough to uh, to hook. So I want <coughs> a hook with a, uh, a wider gap. And I use a 8 dot thread. That is what I used for for making the body also. So I <coughs> do around five segment segments in this because then when you're or you can also do four depending on which size you want them. Because then when I tie this in I will do the final segmentation of the fly. These flies are around 2.5 centimeters in body length which is one inch if you don't understand centimeters. And now <clears throat> I will need some CDC. I almost always use CDC for uh, my wings most of the time and I want some like natural gray I think this is the color dark gray khaki and I always use two feathers and I place them like this to each other Because then when you're throwing this fly or casting this fly it will like go down and land properly which we like and then of course you have to measure how long you want the wings but if you have tied a couple of these you will understand and the length of the win wings are not that like super important because um, yeah, it doesn't matter for the fishing, it's just matter for you. <clears throat> and I want to do a few turns around the stems of this CDC feathers to make some construction of it. And then, <clears throat> of course, we will parachute this fly. Parachute hackle, so we want to find a nice hackle for this. I like to have it a little bit longer because, um, yeah, then you will have a better construction of, of, of the legs to hold it up. So I tie in this feather, it's a rooster cape hackle. And then for the body I use our own Alpacino dubbing which is from Alpaca. This is of course the brown color. The good thing with this Alpaca hair is that it, it has a little bit of air in this in its hair or what to say it so it will give some extra flotation perfect and then you do a few whip finish here and then we will do <clears throat> another thing to end this fly so this is Maybe I'm not sure if you will see this, but when doing this parachute, I turn the fly a little bit like this and then attach the thread again.
and then we will start to hackle this fly. Here you have to have a little bit of two hands work. Like that, and then you can just do a few wraps with the thread. And I make a few larger half hitch over the base. So there you have a really nice Vulgata done. Hope you like it and that you will tie it. And um, please give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you uh, don't do that already. And um, yeah, just leave a comment if you want me to tie some other mayfly patterns. Thank you.